Today, I want to talk about building our confidence in God. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 to 8. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am a youth, for you shall go out, you shall go to all to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you. Hallelujah. This is uh, God speaking to the prophet Jeremiah. He's about to send him to do what God has asked him, called him to do. And God is telling him what he's going to do. And Jeremiah, a little bit insecure, starting telling God, but I'm, I'm a youth God. I don't know if they, their faces are going to mess me up. And today I want to talk about confidence because we all go through in life where we feel insecure about who we are. Hallelujah. When we are insecure, we start comparing ourselves, you know, to others. When we are insecure, we start hating on others. People are doing well, you start shooting them down because you're feeling insecure about yourself. And God does not want us to be insecure because he's the one who has called us. And uh, sometimes when we are insecure, we start feeling sad when God blesses somebody. And he doesn't bless you. But God said, you know what? Your blessing is coming your way. Yeah. Nobody will take your blessing. Nobody will take your place. Yeah. Hallelujah. God said, you need to find your confidence in me. We grew up feeling insecure because we were laughed at. We were mocked at. You know, we were not acknowledged. We were not uh, elevated in a way we were, we, we were brought up. We were put down. You hear People, Christians saying, I'm stupid. I'm not good to nothing. Hallelujah. That was the story of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is like, God, but I'm a youth. There's no way I can go do what you're saying, telling to go to. I don't know, did somebody, did God tell you something? And then you're like, God, I'm not sure if I can do that. The same was Moses. God appeared to him in the burning bush. And he said, I need you to go to Israel to Egypt, deliver my people. And Moses said, who am I, Lord, that you may send me to talk to Pharaoh? This is, was insecurity speaking out of Moses because of the failure of his past. Because the last day he tried to deliver somebody, they asked you, who has made you prince over us to judge us? Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes failures make us insecure. We try things and we believe it's God and it doesn't work out. And then we lose our confidence, shrinks back. And we start feeling insecure about who we are in our capacity to perform. Am I talking to a church that is alive and well? Am I talking to somebody who's standing sometime and you feel insecure about who you are and the task that is before you? Feeling insecure to be the husband that God is calling you to be. You look at yourself, you're like, God, I don't have what it takes to provide for my family, to provide for my children. And you feel insecure about things that come your way. You feel insecure about going to apply this job. God, they won't take me because I'm not as smart or I'm as qualified as this one. But God here is here to tell you, your security and your confidence is in me. So before God starts speaking to Jeremiah, go do, do this and that, the Bible said that the voice of the Lord came to him and said, before I formed you, I knew you. So God was telling Jeremiah, let me remind you who you are. Let me remind you that it's not your present situation that defines who you are. And he said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Say, he knows me. Say, he knows me. He knows me before I was formed. He knows me before my mama knew me. He knows me. To be known by God is to be intimately acquainted with him. He said he knows you. Today it's important that you know where is the genesis of your life. The genesis of your life is not when you were born. It is when God thought of you in the beginning. He said before you were formed in the womb of your mother, I knew you. 
You existed before you took shape and form. And your existence was in my mind. I knew who I wanted Pastor Jenny to be. It's not what the world has made of you. That is who you are. It's the dream I had of you. It's the thought I had of you before you were even conceived. Am I talking to somebody today? God wants to remind you today. Don't let life, don't let situation, don't let anyone define who you are. So here's Jeremiah, a young man. He's about to go talk to a rebellious generation. He's about to tell people things they don't want to hear. Hey. Me, God called me to tell people what they want to hear. Hallelujah. (laughs) Maybe not. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is about to tell Jeremiah, you're going to do do, do, this. But before you go, I want you to find your confidence in who you are. And your confidence cannot come in anything by me. I'm the genesis. I'm the, the alpha of your life. You started becoming when you were in my mind. Before you became, you were a thought in me. You were a dream. You were a design in my mind. I knew you before your mother knew you. I knew you before your mother decided to have you. Hallelujah. Today, I want to bring some hope to some people today. I want to remind you where you come from. God, I did, God said, I did not create what I don't know. Whatever I design in my spirit, I know and I'm acquainted. And the Bible said that every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. You come from God. You are every good and perfect gift to this generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. So number one, he knew you. The Bible said that he is the porter and we are the clay. He is the mastermind behind your life. He is the creative power, the creative force behind your being. You have no, you, you, no, you own no ownership to anyone on this planet except the God who has created you. God wants you to find your confidence, your security in him. So before he tell me, he sent him what to do. He said, let me tell you I'm your God who knew you before. And then he said, and I formed you in the womb of your mom. Hallelujah. I formed you in the womb of your mom. Your daddy and mommy did not form you. He formed you. Him and him alone, he formed you. Are you hearing this morning? To form is to fashion, to frame, to form. Hallelujah. He framed who you were, who you were about to do, and who you were about to be. He knew I had to create Pastor Nadia a certain way because of what I had for her to do. I had to make her a certain way before I can send her to do because the way I form her and shape her has to be connected with the destiny I have for her. Before I can send her to do what God has called her to do on this plan, I had to shape, I had to transform, I had to, you know, to do something in her that that would go with the call that I had for her. Today, I want you to hear with the ears of the spirit because the enemy make us feel insecure and not confident because we listen to the wrong voice. We listen to the voice who has spoken to us when we are growing up that we are not good enough. That we can't do it. We look at the the product, the the fruit of our labor, and we don't see anything. And the voice of that lack of fruit stops speaking to us. But God said, I knew you, number one. Number two, I formed you. I fashioned you to my liking. Hallelujah. And then number three, he says what? Before you were born, I sanctified you. (laughs) 
He said, I sanctified you before you were born. The Bible said we have been made perfect through the work of the cross. The Lamb of God that was born, that was slain before the foundation of the earth. The Bible said Christ was slain before the foundation of the earth. Hallelujah. So he said, I sanctified you before you are even born. I set you apart. It doesn't matter how you look like today. It doesn't matter the things you are struggling with today. God said, I have made you perfect already. Sometimes we feel like we have to be perfect to do what God has called us for. God said, I sanctified you already. You may be still working out your sanctification, but for me, I have made you perfect. Walk into what I ask you to do. Because in my eyes, you've been sanctified. You've been set aside. You've been made holy. Hallelujah. Am I talking to a church that understands that the blood of Christ, we just had communion, has finished the work on Calvary. That we've been accepted in the beloved. That as I walk my salvation with God, and as I step into what he has asked me to do, I've been made perfect, and I've been accepted in the beloved. Listen, today I want to tell the devil that we are advancing and we're going to keep advancing. It doesn't matter the lies he throws at us. That you're not able, look at you, how God can use you. You don't have what it takes. He said, I fashion you to my liking. I fashion you to do the very thing I have placed inside of you. He said, he shaped you. He shaped you into his liking. And he found it that was acceptable to his sight. Who is man that they can come and tell us you're not acceptable? When the one who has created you has made you acceptable and worthy. I want you to speak to your failures. Say failures. Bye bye. See ya. You do not define who I am. You do not define the things I'm called to do. God defines it for me. And he said, I've been accepted and sanctified. You guys don't believe it. Hallelujah. Talk to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. I've been justified. Justice. I've been sanctified. Justice. I've been accepted in the beloved. Justice. I've been loved by my God. Justice. I've been fashioned into his liking. Justice. I've been empowered to do what he's called me to do. Justice. Regardless of the things I've gone through. I have been accepted by God. Hallelujah. Today I want to raise up hope in my people. I want to raise up hope in you. I want strength to arise out of you. I want the boldness of Christ to come in you so that you can rise against every challenges that come against you. And you say, I can do. I can do this by the grace of God. I am who I am by the grace of God. I can be who God says I can be. I can do what God says I can do. I might not feel secure in myself, but as I walk in the sanctification of Christ, and I understand that I'm loved by the beloved, nothing can stop me to fulfill the very thing that God has called me to do. Ah. Today, I feel the Holy Ghost is ready, ready to break some chains off of us, chains of limitation, chains of fear, chains of low self-esteem. He's about to lose somebody, to start accepting themselves who they are, to start walking in the confidence of God. The Bible says, if God is for us, who can be against us? God said, your mess, your failure become my message to the world. Listen to me. We are too afraid to make mistakes. What, what if mistakes are part of our destiny? What if making failures is part of doing what God has called us to do? What if we are afraid to advance, afraid to take chances? Take chance on you. You are worth it. Take chance on life. You are worth it. Take chance. Take chance on me. I'm 
I'm gonna take chance on me. I'm gonna take chance on me. I'm gonna take chance on the word that God has spoken over me. I'm gonna take chance and believe in it. I'm gonna do what he says and see what happens. And if I perish, I perish. If I perish, I perish. But I'll take chance on this God who knew me, who saved me, who sanctified me. Ah, Jesus. The Bible said the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. It will not be handed to you. You got to take it by force. Nobody will come with a golden spoon. You got to grab it by force. Not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. Hey. Yes. Yes. You got to take a chance on you. Take a chance on the word that God has spoken to you. You are more than enough. You are who God says you are. He said, I knew you. You are my property. You don't need nobody permission to be and become who God called you to be. Are you, talk- are you listening to me today? Today I break every limitation in your mind. I break every lie in your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Look at me, there was this guy. His name was David, the giant slayer. What was it about David that he did not question God? He wasn't like Moses. He said, who am I going to tell people? Moses was God. What am I going to tell them who send me? I am slow to, to speech. David was not like that. Do you know what David said in Psalm 139? He said, for you formed my inward parts. He said, I know where I'm from. No giant can intimidate me. Them faces of people cannot intimidate me because I know where I come from. He said, you form my inward, put Psalm 139. We will form my inward parts. That was David speaking. He said, you covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, O God. When it comes to me or who I am, whether I sin or not, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Because I know where I come from. I come from the God of light. Light is what defines me. I want you to find that confidence in God. Where we can get to a place and we speak like David. It wasn't about his strength. He just understood. I know this God of mine. I know what he says about me. He said, marvelous are your work. Can you stand up, look at yourself in the mirror and say, marvelous are your work, God. And he said, that my soul knows very well. He has found his secure place. And his soul knew that God loved him. That God accepted him. That God was the shepherd of his being. Hallelujah. As Christians, we need to get to that place where we understand, Oh God, I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. Marvelous are your works. Not what you're going to do. What you have made of me. How you shaped me. How you designed me. With my flaws. With my incapacity. With my weaknesses. With my craziness. Marvelous are your work, oh God. Hallelujah. This is where we come from. And he says, my frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret, there's a place, it's a secret place. A secret place of lovers between a, a, a person and their God. I want you to enter to that secret place where the enemy cannot come because your intimacy with God is so strong. That no lie of the enemy can come and, you know, hide you and scare you. Because you know you are fully loved by God. 
Jesus. Do you know when we know we are fully loved by God? There's nothing that can stop us. There's no person that can scare you. Because you love, you know his love is more than enough. That's all I need. I don't need your approval because I've been approved. I don't need you to agree with me because I've been approved by my God. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret, God, I want we enter into that secret place of intimacy and fellowship with you. Where we go to you, God, to get to know you and be known by you, God. You know when you can get to a place where you feel known by God. No flaws, no makeup. No trying to uh, convince God, perform for him. Well, you're like, I've been known by this God. And in my nakedness, he loves me fully and completely. That's where we need to find home. Let's find home with our Jesus. And then whatever we do, it becomes the work of the Holy Spirit. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought it in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. And in your book, they were all written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. This is a man who understood his God. Who understood where he came from? That's why in front of a giant, he could just run. That's why when he sinned, he could say, okay, forgive me, God, now let's go on. I was speaking to a lady, and she told me how she, she'd been asking for forgiveness every day for one thing that she's done. Isn't that what we do? When things are not working out, then we go, look, what did I do wrong? Maybe it's what I did in the past that's causing me to do like that. And then we ask forgiveness for things that God does not even remember. God said he remembers no more. Once you say it once, he remembers no more. But the enemy wants to bring us in the route of asking forgiveness because he wants to put shame and guilt on you. So he wants to stop you from advancing. You have been fully forgiven, fully accepted. I don't know who you killed. You are fully accepted. Fully. Fully loved. Oh, why I can't get a job? It's because of this. No, 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 no. It's just life. Just wait for God to open a door for you. It has nothing to do with what you did and what you didn't do. That's the work of the enemy. Hallelujah. So he said he sanctify us. And the last thing he said, he said, I ordain you. I ordained you before you even were born. I said, this one is going to do this. He has been ordaining you, ordaining since before you were born, since you even knew him. Say, I've been ordained. Turn to your left and on your right. Say, I've been ordained. I've been ordained to do something God has called me to do. I've been ordained to walk this walk that God has defined for me. I'm ordained to be the businesswoman God has called me to be. It doesn't matter. That's my ordination. That's what God has decided. So he told Jeremiah, hey, don't look at their faces. Don't be afraid of them because I have ordained you. I have bestowed upon you grace to do what I have called you to do. Don't look at their, their acceptance of you because I have accepted you. I say you'll be a prophet to the nation. God, are you feeling what I'm feeling today? I feel that chains are about to be broken. I feel like Jeremiah today. 
I'm going to tear down every walls of lies from the enemy. And I'm going to build the will of God. Establish the will of God in your life. Today I stand as a prophet of God. And I said you are who God says you are. You have been ordained by God. You have been sanctified by God. Every lie of the enemy. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you are good enough. You are worthy enough. What God has blessed for you. Has a place in this church. In this kingdom there's an assignment for you because you have been ordained by God today I, I remind you of your ordination Jesus Jesus find your confidence on this God the Bible said the wicked flee when no one pursues but the righteous is as bold as a lion Today, by the prophetic word of God, I declare that you are bold as a lion. You are bold to pursue what God has called you for. You are bold to feel loved by God. You are bold to run for whatever God has put in your heart. You are as bold as a lion because you've been accepted in the beloved. Jesus, being confident of this very thing. That he who began good work in his thought, amen, amen, will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Let's rise up in the presence of God. He who began a good work in you, he shall complete it. When he started it, you were not in the business. When he started, your parents were not in that meeting. When he started, it was Father, Son, Holy Ghost talking about your case. Nobody else was there. He has started already on you. He will complete it without you. Did you hear me today? I'm going to ask the keyboard player to stop playing. Today we refuse the lie. Today we enter into the love and the intimacy with God. Today we're going to pray that the love of God may be deposited in us. Because perfect love casts out all fear, casts out all insecurity. Perfect love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today I want to minister to people. I want God to minister love, to minister compassion, to minister assurance in you. Because I know there's many people, like Moses because of their mistake, have lost their confidence in themselves. Because the failures, the divorce, the broken relationship, the broken friendships, the loss of children, the loss of a husband have made us feel insecure about life. But God today said, I want to build the confidence in you because I'm the one who knew you, who formed you and shaped you. I'm the one who set you aside for my perfect use. So today I'm talking to somebody who needs that come in front. We're going to pray and minister life. Today the presence of God is here. We're going to break the chains that have hold you back. Hold you back for advancing. And there's some people like you going through things where you, you are sinning. You have sins that do not allow you to move on. And you're living in guilt and shame. God said no. I have sanctified you. And I'm working my sanctification with you. I need you guys to come in front. This is the holy moment. Guilt and shame. Unworthiness. Making us live lonely and solitude lives. We are surrounded, yet we are so broken inside. We are hiding from people. We're like, if they knew who I am, then the enemy push you away from the people who love you. I'm talking to somebody who's gone through so much heartache 
And at the end of the day, your confidence is gone. Because life has been harsh on you. Situation has weighed you down. Where you don't feel that there is hope again. But today I'm here to declare to you that there is hope in Christ. He is your maker. Your confidence is in Him. I'm here to tell you that every door that's been closed on you had nothing to do with you. Jesus. 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 There's some people here You've been struggling because you have not met your parents' expectation. And without knowing, you're still struggling, fighting, trying to be who you see said they said you could be or you should be. There's some of you struggling because life hasn't been fair to you. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today I declare to you it is well with you. Today I declare it's your day of deliverance. Today I break every spirit of rejection over your life. Every spirit of lost self-esteem, I break its yoke over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I break every spirit of fear over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I break every chain holding you back, holding you from the last, the past mistake of your life. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I release the favor of God upon your life. Today, Father God, I release your hearts from the chains that's been holding it, from advancing, from receiving love, from loving. Today I release the spirit of creativity upon you. Today I remove you from the box that's been put on you. God said, don't be afraid of their faces because I am with you. I have called you, I have anointed you, I have accepted you. I have set you apart and I have ordained you to be who I say you should be on this earth. pastors to come, we're going to minister life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother, come, come, minister. I'm going to come, minister. Hallelujah. I want you to minister. Hallelujah. 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 Today I want two person. If you are connected with any person here and you are very close, I want you to come and just be beside them, behind them. Put your hands on them as we minister to them. The Bible says it's not by might, it's not by power, it is by the Holy Spirit. Who are you, mountain, before Zerubbabel? It is not by might, it's not by power. Everybody come pray for people. I need my intercessors to come. Everybody come. 
I need people who are close to this guy, two people, to just lift, put your hands so we can pray together as a body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on, Patrick, come, come. Reba baba sende ke reba ba shundo korobo sende ke reba ba sende ke reba ba shundo korobo sende ke Yes reba ba start praying in the spirit I need two ladies here to start come and send step praying for people reba ba sende ke Travis need two people pastor come I need two people here Pam here start praying start praying start praying two people two Come, 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 stop praying, stop praying. Reba Baba Sendeke, Reba Baba Sendeke, Raba Baba Sendeke, Reba Haya Baba Sanda Karaba Sendeke. I need two people behind, I need two people, I need two people behind. Eda, Eda, come. Reba Baba Sendeke, Reba Baba Shondoko, Reba Baba Sendeke. My intercessor, come, 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 come. Reba Baba Sondoko Robo. We're gonna pray today. We're going to pray until every chain is broken. Stay here. Come pray, come pray. Rababa sendeke, rebaba she. Rababa sanda karaba sho. Rebaba sendeke, rababa sendeke. Rababa sanda karaba. Robo sendeke, reba. Yendeke, rebaba sondoko. Rebaba sendeke. Yendeke, rebaba sondoko. Rababa sendeke. Rababa sendeke, reba. Yendeke, rebaba sondoko. Rababa sendeke. Rebaba sendeke, reba. Haya baba sendeke. Yendeke, reba so. Rebaba sondoko, robo sendeke. Yere mama ndoko, robo sendeke. Haya baba sendeke. I bless the Father God with a new thinking, mighty God. Rebaba sondoko, robo sendeke. Haya baba sendeke. I make her whole by the power of your spirit, God. Rebaba sendeke. Yendeke, reba sondoko. Rebaba sendeke, reba sondoko. Reba ba sende kere, raba ba sanda karaba shondoko. Yende ke pray, 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 pray. Raba ba sende ke, raba ba ba sondoko. Yende ke reba, yende ke reba so. Aya manda karaba shende ke, reba ba sende ke, reba ba sende ke, raba sondoko robo. Yende ke reba shondoko, raba ba sende ke. Reba ba 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 ba, aya ba ba shendeke, aya ba ba sondoko, aya ba ba sondoko. Reba ba 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 she, rama mandaka, aya ba ba sondoko, aya ba ba sendeke. Reba ba sondoko, reba ba sendeke, reba ba sondoko ro, aya ba shendeke, aya ba sendeke. Reba ndoko ro bo shendeke, raba ba 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 sondoko, yendeke reba sondoko, aya. Reba sendeke, reba ba sendeke, reba ba sondoko, yanda kara ba sendeke, yendeke reba ba, raba ba sendeke, yendeke reba sondoko, yendeke re, raba ba sondoko, yendeke reba, araba ba sendeke, re mama ndaka, yanda kara ba, raba sendeke, raba mandoko, yendeke re re, raba ba ba, araba mandoko. Yende kere, hara baba sondoko, re baba ba. Yende ke, rama mandoko ro, ra baba baba, aya mandoko, rama mande ke. Yende kere ba sondoko, yende kere ba, ra baba sondoko, re mandoko ro bo, ra baba baba, aya mandaka, re baba shende ke, rama mandoko, yende kere ba, aya mandaka, yanda kara ba. Remanda ka, reba sondo ko, remando ko, yende ke reba, haraba sende ke, raba baba sende ke, raba baba sende ke. Every wall must come down, every wall must come down. Yanda kara, remando ko, remanda, ayanda ka, remanda ka, yende ke reba sende ke, 
Every spirit of defeat is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Defeat, you have no room in this place. You have no room in this place. You have no room in cross point. You have no room in our children. You have no room. You have no room. You have no room. You, no room. you must go. Thank you, God. You are the victor of our life. Yende kereba ayaba sondoko reba mandaka ramando korobo yende kereba sondoko ramandaka yende kereba ayamando ko yende kereba raba baseneke raba sondoko yende kereba sondoko riba baseneke yende kereba ramando ko remanda karabashe remanda ka beautiful ashes. Beautiful Hashem, Rabba Sondoko, Reba Seneke, Rabba Seneke, Reba Seneke, a diadem of glory, a diadem of beauty, let it fall upon your people, the favor of God, the favor of God, Yendeke Reba, Yendeke Reba, Remandoko, Ramanda Karaba Seneke, Reba Basanaka, Yendeke Reba Sondoko, Rabba Baseneke, Reba Basanaka, Yendeke Reba, Ramando Korabo Seneke, Rabba Baseneke, Yendeke Reba Seneke, Rabba Baseneke, Reba Basondoko, Riba Baseneke, Robo Boseneke, Yendeke Reba Basondoko, Riba Baseneke, Finger Rabba Sondoko, Rabba Seneke, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. We give you praise, we give you praise. Not by might, not by power. By your spirit of God. By your spirit of God. By your spirit of God. Release your people. Release your people. Empower your people. Strengthen your people. Release your people. I have ascendeke. Yene kereba. Araba senteke. Saturate them with your love. Saturate them with your presence. Saturate them with your healing power. Yende kere basenke, reba basenke. Restore, 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 restore. Yende kere ba, yana karaba, remando korobo senke. Restore the years that the enemy has stolen from me. For them, restore, restore, restore peace, restore joy, restore assurance, restore confidence, restore freedom, restore, restore, restore God, restore, 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 restore. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm gonna ask the worship team to come up here. Haraba said, Brother Aaron, Pastor Aaron, come up here. Rebaba Seneke, Rebaba Sandaka, Yendeke Reba Shondoko. Restore, 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 restore. Hallelujah. Start praying in the spirit. Reba Baba Baba 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 Reba Baba Baba